What's up guys, Nova Joe here, and today I'm going to tackle solo setups for the Air Raider. Uh, for those times where you just want to play as the Air Raider and you don't know how to do it, this is going to be a video that's going to help you to get some ideas about your offensive, defensive setups, uh, ways to mobilize yourself better, uh, ways to give yourself more firepower and uh, better protection since you're not going to have the assistance of real life teammates helping you here. So hopefully this will uh, better enable you to go out there with more confidence and tackle these missions solo as the air raider. So alright guys, let's go ahead and jump on into this. Okay, now the first setup I'm going to show you is uh, we're going to start out with the 150 millimeter cannon. Uh, you've seen this before when I did the outdoor support video. Now, if you remember, this shoots out 20 beacons. Right now, it's set up at 1,700 damage. You know what? Don't worry about the damage. Just remember that we're talking about a cannon here. So whatever level cannon you got, try it out. See how it works for you. For this one, we're going to take in the 150 millimeter cannon. Reason being, it fires quickly. It uh, attaches to the enemy so you know where the shot's going to go, and it has a decent reload. It's not bad. Next up, the bulge laser. There's several different types of bulge lasers as well as sprite falls, and this is under the request satellites category. And the reason I picked this is because a bulge laser sends down a concentrated beam of energy. Like I said, there's several different versions of it, and it continues to chew through the, through the enemy until it's dead, and then you can move it on over to another enemy and you can just direct it however you want. This will help you to compensate for the fact that you're not going to have very good uh, rapid fire weapons uh, with the air raider like you do with the ranger or uh, the wing diver or fencer. Uh, this is going to be your rapid fire weapon in a way. Uh, just like the cannon. Something that fires out uh, fairly quickly and does a lot of damage in a short period of time and as you can see here this has an automatic reload of 32 seconds so while it does have a half a, a little over a half a minute here to reload uh, you can run uh, fast enough and get to places where you need to go using your 150 millimeter cannon to buy you some time while it reloads next up is the zexer guns you saw this when we did the cave missions now the Zexer guns are a stationary weapon as uh, some of you remember from watching the video. These are going to act like your teammates. They're going to help you to uh, hold the line sometimes. You're going to throw these guys down, especially if you need to retreat. Throw a couple of them down and unleash them. Let them go. Let them pick off the enemies as they come at you. These guys are uh, just amazing. There's a lot of ammo. There's a, it does a lot of damage and like I said, there's many different versions of these so based on your difficulty based on the on which ones of these you have just attempt this so a stationary gun a satellite and a cannon now you're gonna need uh, you know for vehicles it can be many different setups here now for this setup we're going to look at an exoskeleton uh, a, a mix uh, battle suit basically and there's these guys will vary in speed however it's the firepower that you're looking for uh, because these guys are going to be basically uh, your your all-in-one fortress you're going to have a lot of guys coming at you you're going to sometimes you're going to be like oh crud i need the armor um, i need some protection from these guys uh, i'm not going to be able to run fast enough to get away so throw this guy out. Now you got to remember it's got a bit of a delay before it gets here. So try to think ahead. Look at the situation. Assess it. Throw him out. Get into him. Bam. You got more armor and more firepower. So like I said, some move faster than others. So this can also be a mobility thing. So we're going to take a look at this setup. And this isn't going to be the only setup for solo I'm going to show you. Because solo requires several different setups. So this is one that um, I like to use, and so hopefully it will benefit you. But like I said, I'm going to show you other setups as well. So consider this setup one. All right, guys, 
I'm starting this mission on hardest and as you can see we're on an outdoor level and we got lots of buildings this will help you uh, especially when you're trying to get some cover uh, if, if you need to wait out a timer for a satellite to reload or whatever you, you have selected to reload buildings are going to help you immensely but as you can see here we're going to start out with the cannon and I'm playing on hardest look at that cannon look how fast it Whoa, look how fast it does damage there. Plus, it has several rounds that you can use. This one in particular. Alright, now. Got the frog ocalypse going on right here, so. Use that cannon. Bring them down. Some, some of your cannons aren't going to fire this fast, so it's going to compensate based on the difficulty so here we go I've oh, got some guys right here let's bring in the bulge laser takes a second to get here but not long and look as long as you hold that trigger in you can direct it want to hide behind that building don't think so boom gone all right well we got somebody's right here somewhere look you just direct it where you need it to go I was hoping you could see more enemies again. There we go. He's down. Now the sprite fall versions. Oh, here we go. Back to the cannon. Stay out of its uh, blast radius. Bring down the enemies. All right. All right, he's down. The mech is almost ready. I'm going to go ahead and throw out some Zexer guns. Let's just assume that I'm uh, on Inferno and I'm being... Uh, you know what? I'm getting attacked from front and back now. So, right out the Zexers. And they're going to help me because they'll stagger the enemy too. Okay. Bold laser. Down. Down. All right. Let's call in our mech. Oh, like I said, and then once you take your finger off the trigger, the bulge laser will actually stay where you leave it. So if you've got them coming down the street or something, just put it dead center of the street. It'll it'll make them have to go a different direction. All right, come on, here we go. Like I said, it takes a little bit of time to get this mech in. All right, now I got a mech. Now my armor has gone up. Granted, this is one of the later tier mechs but boom look at that firepower one shot gone and I am protected using this machine gun Not to mention the mechs come with weapons that can uh, clear out the coverage. <laughs> All right. As you can see here, this, like I told you, this is on hardest, and I have absolutely cleaned house on here. Now, another nice thing about having these mechs is you can boost with them. Hold in your boost button, and you can get some elevation. That helps out a lot. A whole lot. All right, a few more shots here. All right, here we go. And where's he at? Hey, I see they. Now, if you've never used one of these before, they can be a little cumbersome, but you'll get used to it. Do not fire your main cannon at point-blank range. You will take damage, too. Alright, he's down. Flamethrower. Uh. Get a little elevation with it. Back again since he seems to be in my face. There we 
go. Alright guys, that is this first setup. Like I said, there's many different setups you can use. Many different setups. But this is a nice one because it gives you a nice array of offensive weaponry. You'll notice I didn't bring much in the way of defensive, but you can consider the Nyx mech as partial defensive and mainly offensive. And I say defensive because it gives you more armor. It assists you with more armor. Alright, he's down. And... Oop, out of cannon. Alright, we've seen enough of this. Alright, on to the next setup. Alright guys, this is setup number two. And this is also going to be for outdoor maps. First off, select yourself a limpet gun. You're going to want to pick a limpet gun that explodes, that where the damage comes from the explosion, not from flechettes. So make sure that when you select your limpet gun that it read the description and pick one that explodes, not one that shoots out flechettes. Flechettes are best for underground. They'll do damage outdoor, uh, but you're not going to get the full potential of them. So you, you want to pick the ones that explode. Now. Next up, we got the Heavy Bomber Vesta. Now, I've shown you the Phobos before, but this one is a Napalm Bomber. So, basically what this will do is it will drop a string of Napalm across the ground, and it will cut off the path that your enemy's taking to get to you. Now, it will, if an ant hits it, an ant's going to get stuck on it, and it's just going to burn until it's dead. Now, it, it'll do that also for spiders, but spiders can also jump over top of it and so it, it really works well on missions where there's ants all over the place um, it will damage anything that touches it but it will really impede the progress of ants and it'll it'll catch any spiders and slow them down unless they jump over it and next up is the zex launcher it's also a stationary turret and the reason i am telling you to use this one outside is because you have a much less risk of killing yourself now granted there is still a risk of killing yourself because the zex launcher is a rocket launcher it will send out explosive rockets that will do an exceedingly large amount of damage and <laughs> and it can kill your teammates so that's why i'm suggesting you to try it out solo um, it will do a ton of damage in a very short period of time to your uh, opponents to your enemies that are out there and it'll also clear out buildings if you are surrounded by buildings. However, still be careful with it because if it hits you, this one right here is max damage right now. It'll do over a thousand points of damage. And so it can, it can ruin your day really quickly. So just be careful when using it, but just know that if uh, you just know that make sure your enemies are not surrounding you when you try to use it because it's going to swing around and it's not going to care if you're there and if you got an enemy right behind you and it targets that enemy it's going to get you so just be wise when using it and uh, maybe not throw them all out at once or it could be really bad now for your vehicle this is the caliban support vehicle as you see here i have every item that I've picked has been an offensive weapon but for the vehicle on this one it's going to be a twofold thing one it's going to be your legs if you need to hightail it out uh, of town but at the same time if you take damage since you don't really have any defensive equipment uh, all you gotta do is jump in speed away real quick hop out of it climb in the back and heal so it's going to provide you with uh, with armor uh, with healing ability excuse me however just be aware also that they will target this thing and they will destroy it so just be careful where you drop it make sure that you kind of put it out of their path and maybe put it in a behind a, a, a building or something where they can't get to it uh, you just want to be able to access it as quickly as possible and it's best to use it when you're going to be kind of hunkering down in a uh, 
in a small location some place where you're not going to be going all over the map but where you can kind of watch over it as well kind of stay near it enough to watch over it and protect it so, so anyway enough of my rambling let's uh, go ahead and jump on into a mission okay once again I'm playing uh, this mission on hardest and we're gonna start out with the limpet gun look at that took out a few civilians too he's getting away anyway but look at that it is a wonderful weapon for self-defense and the nice thing about it is it does not have a massive explosive radius so you don't have to worry too much about hurting yourself if an ant gets too close to you just be aware if uh, an ant grabs you you're gonna you're gonna want to use this unless you have enough AI soldiers around you that they can kill it for you but uh, don't fire the whole thing so like if an ant grabs you just fire a couple and detonate it because you're gonna take some damage but you don't want to fire the whole thing into the ant if one of them gets a hold of you because it, it will it'll take you out all right so just remember pick a limpet gun that explodes and has a, a quick reload on it you don't want to be sitting there for 15 seconds running let me rephrase this rolling trying to get away from from the ants while you wait for this thing to reload so, all right so we got some ants out there or something out there I can't quite tell and this gun also works for uh, works really well for clearing out buildings so you can uh, have a better line of sight now I'm going to flip over to the Vesta and like I've said in a previous video when you go to use a bomber it will give you an aerial view all right oh we actually got spiders here now I'm going to drop this napalm right there and it's going to create a line that will help uh, hold back the enemy and here it goes watch this boom as you can see right there there's a napalm wall and it is going to hold back the enemy unless the spiders jump over it but if it was a whole bunch of ants it would definitely hold them back now we got the zex launcher here what i'm going to do is actually toss this out here because we're going to have some spiders coming our way and they're going to want to web us up so as you can see here i got some enemies behind me so before i uh, trigger the zex launcher let's get rid of these enemies because if I don't, they're going to turn around and try to hit them since they're closer. All right, now the enemies are out of the way. Flip over those X launchers and activate them. Now look at that. Going to town. And you want to kind of <laughs> get back from them a little bit. And uh, just let them do their job. And if you notice enemies coming behind you, then definitely, definitely, definitely move to where they're not behind you anymore. Now those launchers are not only firing towards the enemy, but they are they're clearing the path as well. They're hitting buildings and things like that. Now the range, as you can see here, is, is not so good uh, because it didn't go all the way over there and there's a whole bunch of ants. So, we're going to run on over here and fill it up again. Don't need very don't need very many more kills to fill that Vesta up again. However, they're not triggered. So, so I'm going to I wish I had the Vesta full now. <laughs> like I've said before, you have to be careful. You have to be very careful. All right, now give yourself some time. All right, I threw it behind me, but I'm going to roll and get through it before it hits. The reason I threw it behind me is because I needed to give myself or give the bomber time to get in here. Now, I'm going to throw one Zex out there and, that, and trigger it so that it can go on fire at the enemy 
and that wall of fire is holding them back all right you see how easy this is so far and I haven't been touched yet they haven't gotten to me yet so even if your health was at like a thousand um, you're going to be I mean this is going to keep you safe this type of setup right here will keep you safe it is a little trickier but it will keep you safe and uh, help you to hold them back at a distance so, that, so they can't get to you. All right, I think I have shown you enough of this setup. So let's go ahead and check out setup number three. Okay, now this is setup three and this is gonna be for when you're playing solo in a cave mission. Now, you saw my previous video, those of you who saw my previous video, uh, you are gonna basically see the exact same setup because the setup for a cave mission when you're playing as a rain or as an air raider, whether you're playing with a group or whether you're playing solo, is primarily the same. Uh, you're going to want to take in your limpet splendor with your flechette, so they ricochet. Um, well, the, the difference here is that since uh, I'm not playing with others, I am playing solo. I did change up the stationary gun. Changed up the turret and picked the FC Gun MX. This is a flamethrower. And it does not have the range that the machine gun has, but it will uh, catch the enemies in a, basically an inferno, and it will it'll stun lock them, hold them back. And you don't have to worry about your teammates getting caught in it, but you have to watch and make sure you don't get caught in it. And once again, I have selected the Absolute Bunker to be the shield, my defensive wall to help protect me. And so I've got my Limpet Splendor ZD, um, which has a very fast reload and does a whole lot of damage. And you're going you're gonna to want that to protect yourself if, uh, say, your FC guns are reloading. And the Absolute Bunker to protect you from webs and acid spit. And then take your Depth Crawler with you. So I won't spend a lot of time on this one since probably the vast majority of you watched uh, my previous video, but for those of you who haven't seen my previous video, I'm going to do a quick little uh, interlude here and go ahead and, and jump right on into a mission and, and show you briefly uh, how to go about attacking a cave mission solo. Okay, so first off what we're going to do is... Uh, try to clear out these ants because right there is where we're going to have to go and that's where you're going to be uh, most effective is in an enclosed tunnel so we've actually got some AI teammates on here but what I'm going to do is use my limpet gun and try to take out some of these ants and get down there to that tunnel and nice thing about this limpet gun is at a distance you've got enough of uh, a range that you can kind of treat this like a machine gun in a way it will reload pretty fast now there's an ant somewhere around here it also does good on the frogs and since I'm pelting him with this it, it killed him it, it took him out now we've managed to clear that spot out so as you can see the limpet gun worked really well like a machine gun since I had some range and it didn't it didn't really hamper uh, the fact that I'm not enclosed too much even though I'm using the flechette version now right here is where the flechettes are really going to uh, show their power is in the tunnels because they're just going to ricochet off the walls amazingly now, I'm probably going to take a little damage here, but that's all right. It's only one flechette. Now, since we got some spiders here, you're probably going to want to throw out a bunker. Yeah, you are going to want to throw out a bunker. <laughs> and this will help block the web. Now, throw your FC gun out. Turn it on. Throw another one. But we're probably going to want to put at least two of them in this tunnel. And depending on how many you got, you know what, let's go ahead and throw three. Kind of throw them at a different range here. Kind of stay back a bit. Stay back. Now flip on over to your limpet. You're not gonna. It's not gonna hurt you at all. To fire on into that mess and just unleash as much devastation as you can. 
as you can see the flame turrets are going to target the walls as well they're going to sit there and and they can sense the enemy right straight through the wall so just never mind them so just be careful as you can see I also pelted that wing diver with a flechette so so you do that and you don't want to kill your AI just reload better just to hit reload just be aware the AI is going to get in your way a lot so sometimes what I like to do is kind of go up on the wall a bit because the AI will sometimes have a little difficulty not always but sometimes will have a little difficulty going up on the wall and when you're in these cave maps and you're playing solo it is a good idea to watch your radar it will give you a good idea of whether you're being effective or not and you start seeing those red blips disappear like I couldn't see an enemy there but I tried my flechettes down in there my Olympic gun down in there and detonated them and whoop there goes two two spiders disappeared so that just tells me that this is effective now when playing solo be aware that you're going to have to take your time with the aerator don't go charging in you don't have the your ability to hold your own uh, is less than that of the ranger because you cannot just go in there with a rapid fire machine gun lay waste to them or a shotgun and get out alive your weaponry has a very short lifespan and what I mean by that is it empties its magazine fast and has a long reload so like your limpet it's empty pretty quick and then it takes a moment for it to reload so you can get into a pickle especially on inferno so just a little bit at a time your missions are going to take you longer sometimes just be aware of that now because I have enemies so close by, I am not going to tell my FC guns to reload. And I am not going to tell my absolute bunker to reload either. Because we've got enemies here and I've still got two bunkers left and a couple FC guns. I'm actually going to have to go ahead and throw my FC guns out and detonate them. Whoa. And I'm going to throw more bunkers here I'm actually just gonna go ahead and put out all five and this will give me a nice little range and don't forget you got your depth crawler in there too so there we go firing that flechettes down into the tunnel it will clear out enemies even if you can't see them because it's gonna ricochet just be aware, like I've said in previous videos, it will hit you too. So just be aware of that. Alright, now. The enemies seem to be dispersed far enough towards the back of the cave that you have time now uh, to probably go ahead and reload your bunkers. You're not going to really need to... Uh, leave them up right now because you know if a spider comes you're going to be able to uh, take him out you're not going to have a swarm coming at you right now so flamethrower got him you got a few little spiders hopping around but there's nothing that you need to be too concerned about as long as you've got enough distance between the next section of enemies and the section that you just cleared out hang back a little bit give your bunkers time to reload same goes for your FC guns. You know, like right now, say they were empty. Don't go rushing on into the next section. Just take the spiders out or ants out, whatever it is. You're fighting one at a time. Hold back and let your equipment reload. All right, I think that is probably enough for uh, setup number three. All right, guys, now I'm going to show you setup four. Now, setup four is for those times where you want to hunker down and use the environment as your protective barriers and kind of free yourself up a weapon slot so you don't have to take barriers in. However, this setup, setup four, like I said, for hunkering down, 
it's going to vary from mission to mission. Um, for instance, two of the best farming missions on here are mission 82 and 87. And those are missions where you can hunker down and use the environment to your advantage, but it does require some different setups when it comes to your, your loadout. So this one's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly uh, because this one is going to really be based on the mission that you pick. But it is still in the same vein because both missions are you uh, hunkering down, using the environment to your advantage to, def to defend you so that you don't have to take in uh, defensive equipment. You can just have offensive equipment. So for this setup, um, I'm going to take in the 150 millimeter cannon, the FC gun MX, the Phobos uh, Z plan, and the Caliban support vehicle. And I'm going into mission 82. And I'm gonna show you how this setup works great for that mission. And this setup uh, will not work great for uh, mission 87 that I mentioned because it's a different setup. So. It, this this setup can vary but this video was not to give you every single possible option but to show you as a new air raider player or even if you're just looking for new ideas to show you the options that you have at your disposal to show you that playing solo is very doable it just takes you learning the equipment and learning how to approach a mission uh, you might have to play them a bit you might have to put it on easy go through and feel out the mission see if you can find some places that uh, you can kind of hunker down in and pretty much everybody like I said has found 82 and 87 to be a couple of the best farming missions and and this setup right here is going to mainly be for 82 so let's go ahead and let me show you how this works Okay, this is Mission 82 on Inferno. So I'm going to show you that on Inferno, you can still clear out a mission by yourself as an air raider. Now, on Mission 82, they got this underground bunker. This is your piece of environment that is going to protect you on every single side except for straight ahead. And those of you who are familiar with this level, you know the ants are going to be your biggest hurdle so here we go let's go ahead and get started i've aggravated them like i said you're going to get hit but that's why we got the caliban bring some healing now look at this you got the phobos and you can call that phobos in from the safety of this bunker and it will show you a bird's eye view and look up at your mini map now granted, I say the Phobos, but this works with any type of um, bomber that you want to call in. You'll be able to see, have a bird's eye view of it. Alright. Now I do not recommend anybody playing this mission on Inferno until you get yourself some really good weaponry. Now, as you can see here, I've already lost a lot of health. I have to be very careful. You have to watch what you're doing. You have to pay a special attention to your health. You can't just run in there and guns blaze. Or you're going to go down. Now, as you can see here, got a whole bunch of ants coming. So what I like to do is call in the Phobos again and prepare. Here they come, and it should hit and clear out a bunch of those ants. But the thing is, if those ants get in here, I don't have any way to defend myself, which is why I brought the turrets. Now, the turrets are going to get you killed if you don't watch what you're doing. So you have to be on your game when you're playing as the air raider. You have to really be paying a lot of attention to what you're doing. And keep those bombers going. If that bomber fills back up again, and get it going again and this is not just for this mission but it's for any mission where you're hunkered down in someplace and where a bomber is is capable of being called in with relative safety for you now look we got some ants that are still out there 
Now, if those ants, which a lot of times will happen, they'll get past uh, the bomber. Some of them will get past the bombers. And then they'll come right down in here. Well, if they get down in here, you're in trouble. So what I'm going to do is we got some more coming in. Call in the Caliban. And I'm going to show you a neat little trick. Now, I've, I've done this mission before as a farming mission. and got a video of it. But I'm going to show you again in this video just to show you how as an aerator you can take care of yourself. You just got to learn how to do it. Now these guys are a pain in the keister on Inferno. Now we've got this. You got to be quick. Get in it. Turn it around and drive it right straight down in here. Drive it right to the bottom. Usually it goes down a little bit smoother, but <laughs> right now it's not wanting to go down too smooth. You take it down here in the bottom and it's safe. Like I said, this setup is for this mission. And a hunkered in setup will be different for other missions. You just got to figure out what you're doing. Whoa, see he's done got me. I don't think my FC guns will hit him or hit them. But I'm going to go ahead and activate them anyway. I don't think I'm all the way down. Let's keep going. Yeah, I'm not all the way down yet. Let's get as far down here as possible. See, they've already damaged this. You get it down in here and they have a lot harder time hitting it. Yeah, playing as the air raider requires you to really pay attention to what you're doing. You, this, you can't be careless. You cannot be careless at all. You have to pay attention. And if you pay attention, you'll be all right. If you pay attention, you will be all right. You won't have to worry about, about making it through as long as you keep watching over yourself. Now I'm just calling in some uh, calling in some support right on top of me and what usually happen on this mission is if you hit one of them you'll see blood come through the wall it'll just glitch right straight through the wall so <laughs> see I'm calling in the support and it's not even it's not gonna hit me ah uh, here we go I got some right above me here now, I don't know if I'm gonna hit them but man, I'm trying to find that that sweet spot. Oh, wait a I saw something right there. There we go. Let's see. There we go. You see that purple blood coming through? You know you hit them. You've actually struck gold right there. There we go. More of it coming in. Just keep firing. Tear their armor up. And then you can go out there and take care of them. Now, what you could also do is try to get into the barga but they're gonna shred it I mean you can you can you can take out a lot of them and possibly take out all of them now I'm gonna throw this these other two out here or other three out here and let them come around the big guy Where you at? A whole bunch of them you gotta watch it. I was being, I'm sitting here just goofing around a little bit and, oh crud, see, turn on the FC gun, and see, I forgot to get health earlier. See, you have to watch what you're doing. You have to pay attention and stay on your toes. There we go. Hop on in, put your health back up. You're good to go. There we go. See, those FC guns are actually working on them. Alright, I think you all have the gist of what I'm, I'm getting at here. You can protect yourself in these environments. You can, you, you can overcome any challenge that's thrown at you if you pay attention, watch what you're doing, and just go in with the right equipment. Be prepared to fail. Be prepared to have to test some equipment out. You're, I mean, you're going to have to test this equipment out. You're going to have to you're going to have to see what works best for the situation. But this is a good setup for this mission. 
Anyway, I just wanted to show you this, just to show you that you can hold your own. So, all right. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed these videos, and I think this will be the last in the Air Raider series. If there's anything particular with the Air Raider you want to see, just uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, I love making these videos, guys. I love being able to help you all out. Uh, I have a lot of fun doing this, and you guys are a great, great group to to work with here, to sit here and converse with and discuss with. Um, I know EDF, we haven't had anything new for for a while, and y'all probably moved on to other games, and I get it, but I'll be here. I'll have plenty of EDF content around if y'all want to come back and watch some more. So, all right, guys. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you would like to see. All right. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And if you're new to the channel, please click subscribe. I'd love to have you. So, all right, guys. As always, take care. God bless. And keep on gaming.